Florida, known for its 1,200 miles of sandy beaches and year-round warm weather. The Sunshine State ranks fourth in population in the U.S. behind California, Texas, and New York, with more than 19 million people and growing by approximately 1,000 each day. Discovered by Juan Ponce de Leon in April 1513, the Spanish conquistador named the area in honor of Spain's Easter time celebration, Pascua Florida, or Feast of the Flowers. Florida is home to more than 3,000 different species of wildflowers and thousands of animals that attract around 6 million tourists every year who enjoy the state's natural beauty. But this natural beauty is in danger, threatened by the ever-growing population and its demand for more housing and infrastructure. Florida's animals have suffered and almost paid the ultimate price. Total extinction. This is the story of a survivor, the Florida Panther. Before Europeans came, the panther ranged throughout much of the southeastern United States, from Louisiana up to Tennessee, the Atlantic, and all the way down to the Florida Keys. After the new settlers began building towns and communities, by the late 1800s, the panther was almost eliminated by human persecution and the destruction of its habitat. The Florida panther was pushed south to a small area where they currently exist. Only about 120 adult panthers exist today, making them among the most endangered animals in the world. Hey, there he is. Right, come on this way. Spring loaded door so it's always closed so the animals can't get out but we can get in. So we're right here in the middle of the uh, panther habitat. Yeah, this is very typical, uh, you know, habitat uh, down here in South Florida. Obviously oak and willow and uh, wild you know, coffee right wild here. Wild coffee, palmetto. Cabbage, cabbage palm everywhere, palmetto. Uh, I mean, this is the place. This is, this is what people need to know is good panther habitat. What is the population that we have in this preserve? Uh, we're, we're actually, on, on the preserve, we're any given month, because we tabulate the cats uh, by the month, uh, anywhere from five to 11 on about 40 square miles. You know, on a male panther, 200 square mile home range, and a female, about 75 miles. And here, a 40 square mile uh, refuge, these cats are coming off and on virtually every day, you know, with their youngs, with their young kittens, or, uh, you know, the males. Uh, looking for food. On a segment of 75 that wasn't suitably protected with taller fencing, this cat had kind of come down by a waterway and then jumped on to the interstate and was unfortunately struck. And it was the worst situation that you would want to find because it was a lactating or nursing female that um, had other kittens that were left somewhere in the woods. We had the underpass, which a lot of people didn't understand that. They believe the regular bridge, and they not realize that is actually what the government made to make the panther be able to cross from one side to another one and not get insulated in one area. They really worked those The location of those were selected prior to actually uh, developing the road itself, and the location was based on telemetry data that we already had on panthers. So in the process of building those underpasses for wildlife, particularly panthers, the cats started using them even before they were finished. Uh, they, they were already natural crossways for the cats to use. You know, these cats, they don't necessarily know to, to fear these vehicles. You know, this big F-350 coming down the road with those two big bright eyes, they don't know to get out of the way. People speed incredibly fast, you know, f I mean, it's fast in anybody's book. Uh, you know, we're talking 70, 80 miles an hour coming down State Road 29 and some of the other smaller roads. So, not a good thing. The biggest threats to the remaining population of panthers are continual loss of habitat and health issues. On 
On our next episode, we will learn what is being done by state and private organization to maintain and expand the panther's current habitat to guarantee the protection of this endangered state animal.